right, boys and girls. Here is the next round of work. got done watching The Mandalorian again. I really enjoyed that series. Um, all right, so when you went to school today um, and you picked up your work, uh, you noticed that it was rubber banded together um, and it was full of familiar items. Um, that is your Great Horn Spoon book. Uh, also, um, a new yellow folder that has your usernames and passwords located on it. Um, I do forget the particular order, but you have Reflex, you have, I think Reflex was the bigger one, um, you have IXL with the at Placerville reminder. Um, and then you also have Zern. The only username and password that is not located on this folder is the username and password for WPP. Um, WPP's username and password is the same password and username that you use to log into your Chromebook. First three of your last, first, first three of your last name, your um, year that you were born. Um, for all of you, Faith, um, yours is a bit different. I believe it ends in 092. Um, that is, um, that is your username. So, uh, and then password is the same, PUSD, and then your lunch number. Um, but for Reflex Math um, and IXL, you have these usernames and passwords, and these are gonna be your go-to digital resources. Zern's gonna be your challenge, um, especially working with multiplication and division if some of you are still on mission three. Um, and then many of you I put on to mission, um, we went back to mission two, which was the measurement um, conversions between customary units of measurement and the metric system. So uh, Zern is gonna be a great, great place to go for challenges. Um, first up, so what was on top was by the Great Horn Spoon. Um, I am going to be uh, posting read aloud videos of By the Great Horn Spoon um, right where we left off um, the, on either Thursday or Friday before, um, before we started not going to school. Um, and so please feel free to read along on your own for By the Great Horn Spoon um, as um, as you uh, see fit. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful novel, um, but I, I do understand that you may have a book that you're reading already, especially to create your one pager that you um, got last week. So um, By the Great Horn Spoon is going to be a great book for you to want to read um, as we um, proceed through our time away from school in the classroom. Um, so I'm going to set that aside. Um, your yellow folder with your usernames and passwords on it. What is on the inside? So, what is on the inside? Uh, for most of you, on the left-hand side is your mission report, which you've already begun. Um, this is um, a perfect example of the kind of work that we're sending to you. It's work that we have already started um, in the classroom. And so you're gonna see there's nothing new here. Um, it's everything that uh, we consider a routine in the classroom and activities that we have already begun, such as the mission report. Um, within your Google Classroom kids, you can access Mrs. Schnetz's uh, presentation of how she wants this report to look. You notice that when she was teaching you how to set up this report, um, it's not necessarily the five paragraph essay that we are creating in our writing rotation. Rather, this is a report. Um, a report is has a title and then it has a number of subheadings such as mission founding and beginning and mission life and so on. Um, and let me bring that up for you right quick. 
um, in your writing portfolio, Mrs. Schnetz posted um, the format for the mission report. And so kids to access your Google Classroom, um, just enter your username and password into um, any uh, Google window, um, whether it's from your own device, if you borrowed a device, um, rented a device from PUSD, um, or you're using your parents. Um, but you can see here how this report is in fact broken up differently than is a five paragraph essay. Um, you are to take your notes from your um, notes page from the front as well as from the back and um, you include in complete sentences what mission life was about and what the mission founding was about and so on. So um, this will be a great exercise in how can you use the information you have um, that you've gotten from somebody else and put it into your own words in complete sentences so that you can tell the story of the mission that you've been assigned. All right, so that's your mission report. Um, over here on the right hand side, um, most everything here um, I have already posted digitally to um, Class Dojo. Um, I may have put it on the email. I'm, I'm posting a lot today, so I do apologize in advance for any overwhelming um, feelings um, that you may experience. Um, but again, your children uh, have um, experienced everything that they are about to see, um, and that includes your Common Core Daily Math. You will not do anything with Common Core Daily Math until I have posted the videos that give you the number um, that you'll be working with or numbers that you'll be working with for each question, okay? As you know, um, our mountain math is digital. It's up on the JTouch regularly, um, and you can't do it until I've given you the numbers. And so this is to be set aside until you see uh, a video posted about mountain math. Um, and parents, this will um, help you too to understand that um, uh, un un how mountain math works. Um, Again, let me go back and just repeat this. Everything that you're seeing is a review um, plus challenges to go with those reviews or continuing work that you've already started. So um, I believe there are three or four Common Core Daily Maths included in your packet, um, in your folder. Uh, next up is um, a fraction strips bar. Um, this will help out um, in the future. Um, within IXL strands if you've already started working with fractions, um, but this is to be set aside um, for a, another time um, when I start posting videos for um, fractions. But again, right now, everything is a review, um, and if I am to post anything on fractions, um, it will be a review of what we've already done, and that's basically all the different ways of finding um, fractions that are the same or named the same part of the whole, even though they have a different numerator and denominator. Um, you also have your IXL accountability charts. This is your guide to IXL. When you log into IXL, um, you are going to be using both your accountability charts for um, division. So you see this one with the E strands on them. This is going to be your division IXL accountability chart. I'm sorry, that's not written there. Division. These are all review strands. Uh, many of your children have either um, completed most of these 
Um, maybe they've completed them all, um, but they are striving to get their 85. I'll post a video about IXL and how to use these accountability charts. Um, and some of your students are still striving to, to get through these, but these are all review strands. Um, the other IXL accountability chart is um, for multiplication. Okay, all right. Um, next up are some um, additional math worksheets for things that we had, um, we've already covered. Um, these were going to be some independent work activities that we were going to be doing last week. Um, so I decided, um, since we weren't there to complete them, to go ahead and include them into your yellow folder. Okay, so I understand that you're still um, possibly working on the worksheets from last week, continue doing so. And as you complete those, um, jump on board with um, these as well. So we have some column addition with three add-ins um, with a nice word problem. Um, again, remember with your word problems, boys and girls, remember to use cubes, okay? Tell your parents what cubes means, okay? next one, um, which is on the back of your three column, are just some addition uh, problems that go into the 10,000s place. Um, lots of organization necessary on that. Um, to help with mountain math, uh, we have a multiplication table. Um, this is going to help to locate factors, which are the factories that make all of the multiples, which are on the inside of your multiplication chart. Factors and multiples, um, basic answers to, um, answers to basic facts. Um, this multiplication table can be used for an array of things. It's a tool for you um, to be successful um, either on your IXL strands for multiplication, um, excuse me, that you'll find on your uh, accountability chart. Then we have some fun word problems. Uh, I made these up um, for you guys. These were word problems that gave us uh, challenges, whether in uh, lessons that we were doing or on tests that we've taken. Um, I decided to um, print these out and give you plenty of space to um, create a solution. Okay, what is your journey to the answer uh, here um, on each one of these problems? Lots of room, drawing it out, um, using cubes, um, using our problem solving strategies that we've gathered and you've gathered um, since you've been in school. Coach Johnson rides your bike two miles to school and two miles back home, four days a week. Think about it, think about the unit. What happens on day one? How far did she ride? Um, and if she has to ride that day for ride that amount for or that distance for four days, um, a good idea would be to complete maybe an input output chart. Okay. Where your input would be the days. Day one. Day two day three, and day four, okay? Um, and then your output, you know, what are you getting out of day one? If she's riding two miles two and two miles back, how many miles did she ride on day one? Four miles. And then you can come to a solution by um, following the pattern maybe that you see or think about what is the equation um, that we would need to solve in order to figure out the amount of miles by the time she gets to day two, three, and four. Um, and then we also have a word problem here. Oh, yep. 
Uh, Mr. Tissue and his son are going snowboarding. Uh, tickets cost $8 each. Wouldn't that be a dream? Uh, write a number sentence to show how much they will pay for their tickets if they go snowboarding six times in one month. Okay, so um, if it's $8 for uh, one person, how much is it for two people? Um, that means that will give you the amount for one day of snowboarding. Okay, and then you can apply that to um, the second day, the third, fourth, fifth, and eventually the sixth time of snowboarding in one month. Okay. Some additional word problems here. Um, again, moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas, um, this is all review. Um, you are uh, guiding your children through um, each one of these problems if they are getting stuck. And children, you're persevering, okay? Um, the directions do say, use your graph paper book to solve these multiplication problems. That's your scratch paper. Um, many of you, as I went through your desks, um, very politely and respectfully, um, noticed that your graph paper was very low or missing or gone. Um, unfortunately, we are out of graph paper at this very moment. So you don't need to use graph paper if you don't have it, but if you do, please do. Um, they are multiplication problems, okay? So you know what operation you're gonna be solving for each one of these. It's just that your factors are sometimes gonna be, or um, as we're looking at this, two digits times two digit multiplication problems. All right, so <coughs> that is your yellow folder. It's a good amount of um, items in there, lots of math. Um, your uh, explore, or excuse me, your mission report is in there and your IXL accountability charts. Um, these documents, the charts, the multiplication tables, the fraction strip, and the mountain math have all been uploaded digitally for you. So if something happens to them, um, you will have these documents ready. These are your go-to to keep your digital uh, resources, um, your digital activity um, organized for you so you know what you need to work on next. Okay, alrighty. So that is the yellow folder. Your planner. Um, your planner is and has been an instrumental part of our school year and staying organized. Um, so it's going to take on a different look. You are going to continue using your planners. Um, and this is an opportunity for you to organize your work. What are you going to do um, on each particular day? And um, you can organize it by the subject matter. Um, and you can write down either in advanced or as you go what it is that you worked on each day. That way you know what you need to come back to if necessary. I'm gonna move this camera here. Starting to run out of room on my table. Um, so your planner is now your planner to use without the guidance of myself or the expectation that you're getting it signed out on the bottom. You're now using this planner as if you uh, were graduated from college, moving out on your own and getting your job and all of a sudden you got all this stuff and you need to stay organized. That's the point of the planner and that's why we use it. And so you now get to really put this planner to the test. Um, if you do not have a planter, a planter, a planner, um, what I included for you um, in your uploaded documents, um, which I believe I posted to uh, um, your email or class dojo, I um, included a calendar for March and April, as soon as she decides to pop up. Um, so you'll have access to a calendar if you so 
um, if you need it because you do not have your planner itself, okay? All right. Um, come on back. All right, so that's your planner. All right. Up next is your writing folder, okay? In your writing folder, we have a lot. Um, again, this is nothing new. Um, you uh, have all uh, begun the writing plan. You have um, typed your first draft into Google Classroom, and you have begun copying and pasting into WPP. What I want you to do now is if you are comfortable with the copying and pasting, you may start working on your writing um, independently within Google Classroom to uh, finish your uh, first drafts so that you can copy it into WPP. That will be its own separate video, okay? So you have your writing plans, you have um, some opinion writing rubrics to keep you on track, word lists, and a um, document which is in your Google Classroom, but it's the writing cycle. It's what it looks like. You, you create your plan, you type your first draft, and then what in the world do you do with it from there? And that's what this document um, helps to explain. Um, I can zoom in on it. Parents, you can take a quick photo of this so that um, you have an idea of what that writing cycle looks like. Um, but again, that will be its own separate video. And finally, in this folder is your published book. Um, those are the glossy pages that are on the left or the right hand side of this green folder. Um, remember kids, uh, your published book is um, going to be all handwritten um, but I suggest waiting for the specific video that will cover uh, the published book and what to do. And so coming in some days would be a, a video on how to complete the fourth grade writing cycle. And then once you've gone through that writing cycle, you will see another video that takes you to this piece here where it says you are now ready to publish your writing. Um, we've all experienced it um, in the classroom, but now that we're at home away from our routines, um, it's easy to forget that which we are comfortable with sometimes. So um, that is the green folder. Um, again, nothing new. All the writing has been started. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me, um, but there will be some walkthrough videos for the writing cycle and for the published book. Just a great opportunity for your kids to be working independently um, and using the tools that we would use daily in the classroom. Okay. You also have your uh, subject notebook. This is the notebook that we use for our um, three column notes. Um, three column notes will be uh, posted video format um, sporadically. So kids, that's your word work. That's when you are taking um, three, two to three uh, academic vocabulary words that I will choose for you. And then we will go through the four steps of what our word work looks like, okay? So that's creating your own definition, the actual definition, sentence, and um, a illustration of, or a drawing a picture of what that word means to you. Okay, so that's what this red notebook will be used for. Also extra scratch paper if you need it, if you're low on your graph paper. Um, and then you have your graph paper itself here. All right, so that's the unboxing of what you picked up today. I think for many of you, you are going to be able to 
um, get started right away on um, your IXL strands uh, for um, extra practice with these subject matters that we have already started and begun in the classroom, um, namely uh, division and multiplication. All right, kids. So keep on trucking. Moms, dads, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and start exploring with your kids uh, their Google Classroom. That is going to be very helpful. Um, they will log into Google with their usernames and passwords, and they can go to their Google Classroom and allow them to take you on a tour. Okay, so that was about a 30 minute video again. So um, take your time with these, use your planners to spread out the work, and I'm gonna be here to provide tutorials for you. Okay, boys and girls, all right, you guys take care, bye.